Hey guys, Rich here. Quick update on the dog bed video we did last week. Uh, this is this outdoor dog bed with the, uh, the TPU connectors that we made for the fiberglass rods to replace the original ones that got brittle and were just breaking apart. Well, where we left off, I had printed two for this side and I was gonna make another two for the other side and call it done and get it off the workbench. Well, I can never leave well enough alone and I got to thinking about the design on these and I realized that the, the fit was just way too tight because this thing is supposed to be able to be disassembled to fold up and take with you. Well, you can't disassemble it if you can't even get the rods out of the connectors. And if you, re if you recall, if you saw the video, they were super tight. And they were too, they were too tight uh, on the actual fit and the bore, but they were also really hard to get on and off because um, pressure would actually build up in here as we tried to push these rods in and then eventually would build up to the point where the joint, the, the bore ex expanded a little bit and then the pressure would shoot out and the rod would go in. And they're equally hard to remove for the same two reasons. The fit and the bore is too tight and you draw a vacuum as you're trying to pull this tube out. So I updated the design. I uh, did two things. I increased the infill in this part so that hopefully we don't flex as much. Interesting to note, the, uh, the flex actually remained in this TPU. I pulled this out uh, about 10 minutes ago. It actually has returned uh, a bit. Uh, I think when I took this out, again, just like 10 minutes ago, it was bent more. I think it was about like that. I wonder if I let this guy sit. We'll let this guy sit to the end of this video update at least, and I'll let you know if it changes. Now, that's a lie, because we need to actually put this back together with these poles. But this is straightening out. That's interesting. I might have to do a test with TPU where we put it under a high strain load and then let it sit out and do a time lapse and see if it returns all the way to, to straight. I can't say I've ever done a TPU part where there's been like significant load on it like this and just left it to see what happens. All right, we're getting sidetracked. So the update I did here is I added two small vent holes uh, that reach down into each one of the bores and I increased the infill in the part and I also slightly increased the bore size. So we should have now a, a tight slip fit and we shouldn't build up any pressure or vacuum because it should vent from these holes. And I didn't align the holes so that we hopefully don't weaken the part. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is one right here. And as I rotate the part for the other bore, there's the other one there. I didn't align them as to not have, hopefully a difference in the, uh, the amount of flex that this guy will endure and structural integrity on the part in one spot. So, all right, let's get this on. All right, that is way better. That's how it should have been in the first place. I often get asked if I ever revisit my designs, and I do. And in fact, I don't know that I ever consider my designs done. I feel like there's always some part of my brain that's still thinking about a way that we could have done it better. And I often do go back and make those improvements. And if I ever do, uh, I do update the STLs. So even if it's a video from six months ago and you go and you grab the STL, it might not be the same STL that I shared in the video. It might be an updated one because I, iterated my design. So uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you know, it's just sort of a little midweek, uh, you know, add on here, but I did want to update you guys as to finishing this off and the changes that I made. So guys, as always, thanks for watching.